What's up everybody? <clears throat> Today uh, I'm gonna be shooting another um, freshwater video. I'm gonna be actually heading to a spot never fished before but I've heard rave reviews from a few friends who've fished uh, this uh, freshwater tributary. Um, all I know about the spot is that <clears throat> it is uh, off of a river down here in South Jersey so it's kind of a neat thing like uh, I don't think it's a tidal spot, but um, it definitely is a branch off of the river. Um, I don't know what you would call it, maybe a creek or a run, but I've heard uh, in the springtime they get a lot of yellow perch and, you know, herring run up this way now. <clears throat> uh, I know that herring are uh, currently under a moratorium and you're not supposed to target them. And being that it's, you know, February, the middle of February I don't think that they honestly be making their spawning run this early although the water temperature has been increasingly high um, every time I've checked the word temp before I started fishing it's been in the upper 40s which is extremely high for this time of year usually this time of year we have you know a thick layer of ice that's just starting to melt off um, but Today, we're just gonna try a few different techniques. Uh, I only have, you know, a limited amount of time. Um, just actually coming back from the zoo with my daughter, you know, number one rule I, you gotta live by is take care of your family first, and then, you know, take care of yourself. So, good news is, she had a great day. It's like in the 50s today. So got to see a bunch of monkeys and chimpanzees and giraffes and what you know you name it um but now she's taking a nap so my wife's keeping an eye on her while i get out for a quick fishing excursion so stay tuned now um i know i was touching on the species a little bit um being middle of february the only two species that i honestly uh i'm anticipating there to be in this water watershed is uh yellow perch and pickerel um if we get one of those two or both that'd be great if we you know find other species there that's even better but uh i try and keep my uh expectations to a certain level i mean it is still february uh, even though it does feel like it's march with the weather being what it's been um but a few things i'm going to be trying all soft plastics and uh metal lures i'm not going to be using any uh fresh or live bait since it's going to be just a quick trip so stay tuned all right so we're at the first spot we're going to try a few casts see if we can't find anything a little bit of current here i'm going to use the same suspended jigging technique that i used in yesterday's video Let's see if i can't find any pickerel or perch or something just hanging nothing right there yeah so now I'm trying a different part once again it's gonna be tough making casts here because there's many trees but we'll see if we can't pitch it all the way out kind of let it go with the current I'm gonna let it kind of wash wash down the this little creek then once it gets closer to that tree I'm gonna work it back I really want to make it cast into that little uh, mouth over there but one of the worries is I don't know if I can make a cat, an overhand cast in this type of spot. All right, we're gonna try something a little sketchy, but what's the fun of fishing if you're not gonna explore, you know what I mean? Oh man. I'm 
just hoping I don't find a dead body. That's when you know the day is ruined. I mean, you see this spot, and it naturally looks like it'd be a great fishing spot. Let's see if there's anything sitting. Man, <clears throat> the one day I don't wear my waders. This looks like a spot you can legitimate legitimately walk with waders but I'm like pushing the limits of these boots man this is a cool freaking spot So what I'm fishing right now is a uh, just a jig head with a little uh, gulp minnow and a trout magnet float. What I'm trying to do is just work the structure ahead of me and see if anything's interested in it. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm letting my float go down this little creek, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a jig and hope that something... Ooh, that's something. That's something right there. Oh, it came off. All right, so I got my float in. I'm letting it go. It's right there. Ooh, something's looking at it. Something's looking at it. Oh, we got something. What in God's green earth is that? Oh, Lord. That might be the world's tiniest pickerel. My Lord, look at that thing. I mean... That is one tiny, I don't even know how this thing swallowed this. It's like pretty much his size. That's insane. Oh man. Well, safe to say that I might be holding a pending world record, but we're gonna let this guy go. Man, I can't believe how small that guy was. Poor thing. Ooh, I need that back, my man. I need that back. All right, let's see you go. And off he goes. Man, that's interesting. You would never think that there'd be something that small back here. I'm honestly kicking myself now for not bringing my waders, man, because this spot is juicy, man. I just... Next time I come here, I'm definitely bringing waders and just wading this whole stretch of water because, I mean, it is crystal clear water. In fact, this kind of looks like a spot that might be good in the spring to bowfish for suckers, but I'm not sure if they're honestly in this watershed, to be honest. All right, so I've lived in New Jersey my whole life. Well, with the exception of four years of college, and never once have I ever seen one of these. What? What? Who knew we had crawfish in New Jersey? I, I'm being honest, I honestly never knew that there were crawfish in New Jersey. This guy doesn't look too happy with me right now, but he was just sitting right on that ledge right there. I thought I was seeing something. I thought this honestly was a lure, but uh, apparently it's not. All right, my man, I don't want this guy to I want to see this guy live and be, I guess, big bass food or something. I'm going to put you back in the water, my man. Let you go. Off you go, buddy. Off you go. 
I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't really get too excited over small fish, but um, the fact that I caught something in this little body of water that I've never fished before is exciting. The fact that I found a crawfish, I seriously have never seen a freshwater crawfish in New Jersey. I guess I don't, either I don't fish enough in fresh water or I've just been oblivious, but that is one interesting thing to see out here.